Good morning, Marcus Conti. Reporting. Do a quick story. It's early in the morning and uh, out on a walk. You know, it's like I read this article. And um, I had done this before, uh, covering the New York City Commission on Human Rights. You know, the, uh, the racist watchdogs. They're at it again. All right, wait till you hear this shit. Right? So, Prada. Hey, you know Prada, the, the people, the Italian designer that makes the uh, bags and makes accessories, you know? They're, they're being uh, discriminated against for, for racism. Huh, right? Not discriminated against, but accused of racism. What happened? Let's look at the photo. Oh, when do you see this shit? Oh, shit. This is a fucking big black woman with a big motherfucking lip. Black woman with a big fucking lip. <laughs> huh? Is this racist to comment on it? Because I'm white? 50 year old male white talking about black race? Is that, is that racist? Am I racist? Is it racist to even joke about it? Do some black people have big fucking lips? Damn right. Damn right. Is it a parody? Let's look at what the post said, okay? I'll come back to the, uh, come back to the clip. All right, so the city has launched a probe into Prada over a Soho store display that featured a line of accessories blasted as racist. You just saw it. New York City Commission on Human Rights is looking into the report that a Prada employee was retaliated against for complaining about the display of Prada mania keychains and other trinkets that included a character with black skin and oversized red lips. A horrified New Yorker, Chinyer Izia, I wonder what color she is, <laughs> ripped the brand apart on Facebook last Thursday, saying the line of accessories featured Sambo-like imagery. Sambo-like imagery, you remember Jean-Michel Basquiat, one of my favorite movies of all time, Basquiat, right? He, Jean-Michel was a great artist in the, in the 80s, and he gave Andy Warhol a run for his money. You remember that guy? Watch the movie if you haven't seen it. It's brilliant. And a lot of his imagery was, was his nickname was Sam, Samo, but Sambo was the spear-chucking character in a lot of his now infamous paintings that are worth 20 and 50 million dollars each right high art over there it's high art but now it's racism right let's just let's just read some more right we'll talk more about Basquiat too when I asked Prada employee whether they knew they had plastered blackface imagery throughout their store now it's blackface right that's not blackface what we saw right but now now the, now the accuser is calling it blackface. When I asked a Prada employee whether they knew they had plastered blackface imagery throughout their store, in a moment of surprise, surprising candor, I was told that a black employee had previously complained about the blackface at Prada, but he did not work there anymore, Isa wrote. All right, so whoever this Isa is, this investigator, is viewing it as, as blackface. Now, that's not, let's look at it again. It's not blackface, right? Blackface imagery is a white person dressed as a black. That's a straight up black, right? That's a big, big lip black person, parody. It's a parody. Blacks, wake up, it's a parody, it's a joke. Some people like it. Some people call it high art, like Jean-Michel Basquiat, who happened to be black, and, and exploited the imagery. Don't be ashamed of it. It is what it is. Uh, so, so, now here's where it gets really ugly because Assistant Commissioner of New York City Commission of Human Rights, Sapna Ja, Sap, Sapna Raja, whatever the fuck her name is, said in a statement it was appalling to see. Quote, this kind of blatant racists, racists, <laughs> this kind of blatantly racist displays and merchandise from Prada. 
Again, appalling. This is the deputy commissioner, right? Yeah, assistant commissioner of the New York City Commission of Human Rights. They have enforcement authority. It's not like a newspaper or a or some rag down the street saying it. This is this is as, as good as a judge in a court saying it. It's actually worse because you it's so hard to overturn these decisions once they go. So they're guilty already before proven innocent. Now Prada will have to spend the million dollars in lawyers trying to get themselves out of this bullshit case, right? Because a bunch of oh, hypersensitive, overly sensitive, radically sensitive racists that are employed in places like this are complaining, right? And have determined that racism exists without any investigation whatsoever. They look at, oh yeah, blackface. It's blackface, you see black, there's the black and there's the face. Blackface, racist, right? So again, quote, this kind of blatant, blatantly racist display of merchandise from Prada is appalling, right? So guilty, black New York, New Yorkers, Black New Yorkers face discrimination and bias every day. This is her quoting, quote from her, the, the assistant commissioner. Every day to see racist Jim Crow imagery so patently on display at a nationally lux luxury re retailer storefront is appalling and not tolerated in our city, Raj said. After outrage spread online, Prada released a statement Friday saying it was nixing the character in question in its display and, and took down the display in Soho. City ordered, now this is even uglier, the city ordered the Italian Fashion House to provide New York City Commission of Human Rights Law training to all its employees, executives, and independent contractors. So the racist commissioner is, is now uh, is now dictating and and schooling Prada in fashion. Now this is violate this violates the Constitution. This is a right to to express oneself in in any way. You know, it's freedom of speech, freedom of expression, right? Art. This is art. I like it. I mean, I think it's it's edgy. I certainly wouldn't wear it because I don't have a. I don't have a pocketbook to put it on, but I would hang that on a guitar case or something, especially if it, it invokes that kind of Samo kind of uh, uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat imagery. I'm going to get up in a second. I'm just putting my shit away. <laughs> Sitting down is the only angle I could get to make this, uh, make this cool. So let's talk about this. It strikes a nerve with me, right? Marcus Conti reporting. All right? So, black people, do you hate me now because I pointed out, I pointed out your racism, right? If that was a, I mean, you think about how, how openly discriminated Trump is for being white male, right? He brushes it off, right? He brushes it off. It's not a big deal, right? Radically sensitized people. Oh, yeah, I fucking hate hey, I hurt my feelings. <laughs> you hurt your feelings? Are your feelings hurt as you're born with big lips? Come on, grow up. Grow up, man. Look at me. Look at the fucking size of my teeth. You think it's... <laughs> right? So what? It's a parody, you stupid, overly sensitive... See, this is a problem, right? This is a problem. People feed, oh, yeah, it's racist. Yeah, fucking proud is racist. Yeah, this wasn't... Their bags are $400, aren't they? Why don't you complain about the cost of, the cost of buying one of those fucking things, right? They're selling big lit black ladies for, for $400. <laughs> uh, taking advantage of you, man. They're fucking you over. Uh, it's the economy, stupid. Uh, but, you know, how many millions of dollars are going to be spent for Prada to pacify the overly sensitive 
black racists that see everything black and white? How many, how many commissioners and how many, how many employees are going to have to gather around the computers to, to type up papers and, and send papers and, and, and argue, have oral arguments and all kinds of crap over a piece of art, right? Art should be edgy, right? How many times did how many times did Eddie Murphy goof on white people in his in his art, in his stand-up comedy, which is brilliant. I mean, it's brilliant stuff, right? Eddie Murphy was one of the most, still is. I, I mean, you know, when he did stand-up, who was better than Eddie Murphy at calling things that what they were, right? But Prada, no, they're Italians. They're white. They're not allowed to do that. You can't, you can't do that shit. You can't do that. No, no, no. No, no, no. See, we could, we could... See, white. the only people that could be racist are white people against everybody else. Right? It's causing a tremendous problem in our country right now. Right? It's causing a tremendous riff in our country because these are not the real problems that we face. The problems are economic. Right? And the problem is that we've been overrun by a very, very corrupt oligarchy. False flags, fake bombings, fake shootings, market manipulation. Right? Rigged elections. You're crying about big lips. And, and the fucking, the country's falling apart. France is burning. Black people, get on your yellow vest. You guys look good in yellow. <laughs> someone said, uh, someone, I said the other day, I, I'm, not looking to, I'm not looking to make any controversy. And someone said in the, in the comments, it says, Conti, you've got a, you, 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 you're stirring the pot. You've got, a wooden, you've got a wooden spoon for an arm. <laughs> That's all you do is stir controversy. I thought that was funny. So I want to talk about this one last thing and I'll kill it. I, remember the other day I did the uh, fuck Trump thing? This thing has been pissing me off now for a month, right? Fuck Trump, love Max. Max, Maxine, wine, wine, whatever her name is. The big black lady with the lips. <laughs> oh, shit. Maxine Waters. Ah, love Max. Nobody cares, right? You could do that, right? If that was, you know, fuck a black person, yeah, fuck a black person, forget about it. They would, they would be scrubbing it off with, uh, with, with, they'd have the blow fucking, you know, the blow water hoses, you know, knocking it out. But fuck Trump, yeah, old white guy, racist. They see him as a racist. You see my point? So, if anybody is championing, championing, this lawsuit against Prada. You should have your head examined, right? Black people, get off your ass. Stand up for yourselves. It's fucking... You can't take a joke? You can't take a joke? My name is Marcus Conti, reporter.